Hey guys, Dave the Kayaker here. I know in my last video I uh, talked a little bit about losing the mobile phone, getting rid of the cell phone, and getting out there and enjoying life. And I absolutely meant that. Try to get away from your electronic devices as much as possible. But as you can see, um, it is getting very near spring here in central Virginia. I'm at my uh, most local boat ramp here, getting ready to enjoy this gorgeous day. Um, God has given us a wonderful natural environment and earth to get out there and explore uh, get out and explore it um, get out of your basements quit tweeting and blogging about saving the earth and actually go out and enjoy the earth and uh, you know pick up some trash on the way and get out there and enjoy it participate in it get back in touch with nature and uh, do your part to uh, clean it up and make sure you leave it better than you found it um, now today like I said I'm getting ready I'm heading out in my uh, Thunderbolt X kayak and I just want to talk a little bit about mobile phones and where they come in handy today the water's cold I'm going to be wearing a wetsuit um, but uh, I'm going to turn on location services on my phone and then share my position with my wife on Google Maps so she knows where I am at all times um, and she knows when I come out it's about 45 50 mile paddle to my a 50, 45 50 minute paddle to my five mile bridge and then I maybe sometimes go a little farther and turn around and come back so she knows roughly it's gonna be about an hour out and an hour back plus travel time she knows that's kind of how long I'm gonna be gone um, and I, she knows also to you know look at my blip on the map if anything looks out of the ordinary if I stop somewhere for too long that's a bad sign that could mean I flipped over so there is a time and a place for mobile phones and technology as a matter of fact it's an essential piece of safety equipment it always goes in a dry bag for me and it gets tucked under the uh, the, the, the deck of the boat or somewhere close by where I can reach it if I need to if you get into trouble um, it's always great to be able to call 911 and they can track your location with that So yeah, there's a time and a place for a mobile phone and this technology, but don't let it rule your life Don't let it but don't let it manage you you manage it effectively. All right There's your tip for the today I'm gonna get out here and paddle and I suggest you do the same Hey guys Dave the kayaker back at you here. I just got off the water here with my workout uh, disrobed a little bit just to Relieve some of the sweat under that wetsuit. Um, I had a great paddle, did a little more than 10 miles, went out, and then I decided to just kind of enjoy the day. I paddled along the shore on the way back to pick up some trash, and I'm happy to report I've only found two things today, a child's flip-flop and a bottle of Chardonnay. Now, this had a little bit of Chardonnay in it. Um, at least our litter bugs around here are somewhat cultured and refined. Uh, so I did a tasting. You know, it's... Uh, had kind of an earthy taste to it. It um, had a certain grittiness that you don't find in a lot of the wines in Australia or California. Um, it had, it, it hit really the taste buds on the front of the tongue. Um, and then you really felt it again on the taste buds in the middle of the tongue. And then it like really got powerful in the back of the tongue. And then it was just kind of gritty on the way down. And there were like the notes of muskrat and goose. Um, and you know, the way I'm feeling right now, I might do a second tasting of this <clears throat> very soon. Uh, no, but seriously, good job, uh, Charlottesville. Um, the, the reservoir, I'm happy to report, very clean, very little trash out here today. That is great. Keep up the good work. I, th this makes me happy to see. Um, and I just want to address a question I got in the comments, or it was an email, I forget. Somebody sent me, and they're like, okay, you're Dave the Kayaker. Why is your YouTube channel called Rivana Hip Snap? Well, I started doing these videos many years ago, well before I ever conceived of Dave the Kayaker. Um, and at the time, I was learning how to roll a kayak. And if when you're upside down in a kayak, when, you, when they're teaching you how to roll, the first thing they say is, is snap your hips. And that's called the hip snap. You want to snap that boat over and then combined with a you know body motion and a paddle stroke and keeping your head back, that, that hip snap gets you upright. And so that's where the hip snap came from. My local river basin here is the Rivanna River Basin. Um, I just paddled the South Rivanna uh, Reservoir. That's fed by the Mormons and the Meacham's River and also I Ivy Creek. Uh, I paddled up Ivy Creek a little bit and I'll spin around here and you'll see um, our dam is just behind me. Maybe you won't see it. It's there. Maybe you can hear it, but you see that that's the dam. Uh, below that dam 
um, is where the Rivanna starts, the South Rivanna. Oh boy, my gimbal's going crazy here. That's where the Rivanna starts, and I've done a couple videos with Paddling Buddy Dave where we've paddled from below the dam the whole length of the Rivanna. It eventually ends up at the James River uh, at a place called Columbia, Virginia. So it's the Rivanna River Basin, so you combine those two, Rivanna, Hip, Snap. That's where that name came from. Um, it's really no deeper than that. So um, I'll just sign off for now. Had a great day. Get out there, enjoy life, and uh, be healthy and happy wherever you are. I know in the fall I was a little bit worried that I might run out of things to say and do during the winter, but boy, it seems like I've been busier than ever. Um, I hope folks understand some of these product reviews I'm doing. Companies have reached out to me and offered me this gear. Um, and honestly, it's the way to monetize this site a little bit. I hope you understand. I hope it's not overbearing. I try to keep everything I do related to health and fitness, kayaking, or, or something that's useful in the gym or training in some way. Um, so it's just a way to monetize this site a little bit. Um, you know, I've got to pay for the URL and web hosting, and I've got some expenses and equipment, and it takes time to do these videos. So please bear with me. I know some of you might not like the fact that I'm doing these product reviews, but it's really just a way to try to recover a little bit of money to help offset my costs. So um, thank you for bearing with me, and um, let me know what you'd like to see. If I can get my hands on it, I'll review it for you. So take care. Until next time. Dave the Kayaker. I think spring is right around the corner and I'm looking forward to getting out on the water more and doing some more boat reviews.